Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing channel. Now, if you're a fresh fish to detailing, pardon the expression, you may really know Soft 99 for their legendary baseline sealant wax, fluoropolymer, fuso coat, or their glass sealant range, Glaco. But there is life gym, but not as we know it, beyond these two products. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you four spray-on type products that you can use for various functions and explaining how they accompany and complement these two icons. So product number one, Luxury Gloss. What is this guys? It falls into the detail spray category, although strictly speaking, it's a spray wax because it's enriched with natural organic waxes in this water-based formula. Now, because it's water-based, you can use it as a drying aid. So after you've washed the car, you've got all that standing water sitting on the car, you can go over and mist it on, and then it will help spread the product, thin down the water, make drying the car easier, and add protection at the same time. If you're gonna use it as a drying aid, one cloth's gonna get very wet, so it can be a good idea to have that secondary cloth to really just buff out the panel to a shine. Or, if you dry the car normally with no drying aid and a towel, then when your car's dry, you can spray it onto a panel and just buff it with a soft microfiber cloth. It's gonna add gloss, it's gonna give you about four weeks worth of protection. It's not a sort of paintworks liquid sealant, it's a more of a pure detail spray, so it's more of a tool for finishing out your car. Um, it costs £10.95, which is relatively cheap. It's low on residue, so it's not gonna be difficult. You haven't gotta really be that careful when you're applying it, just spray it and buff it, and it will put a nice little hint of shine over the paintwork, it will top up the hydrophobicity. And it's a simple product, guys. The only thing I'd say is Soft 99 advise not to use it in direct sunlight. Why? Because if your panels are roasting hot, by the time you've sprayed this on, all of those active ingredients can dry before you've had a chance to spread them. So it's always best to use detail sprays on cool panels out of direct sunlight. One of the most common questions I get asked on the channel is, John, I am, um, I use Soft 99 Fuso Coat on my car. How do I maintain it? Well, basically you wash your car and you spray some of this on it and you're done. <laughs> Next up, product number two, Fuku Pika. Fuku Huka? Fu Fuku Pika. Fuku means to wipe. Pika means to shine. So it's wipe and shine. There's a bit more to this product, it's different. Okay, this is the strongest cleaner in the QD range from Soft 99. Essentially, it's a waterless wash product that you spray on your car and you can remove light dust, fingerprints, and even fresh water spots. But it also leaves behind protection. So you're not gonna use it as a prep product, you're gonna use it as a maintenance product. So how do you go about using this, guys? Well, firstly, in the UK, we're about to hit a hosepipe ban where you're not gonna be allowed to do full washes on your car with pre-wash, um, bucket washes and all that sort of stuff because it uses too much water. This is a waterless wash product. What's the difference between a waterless wash and a rinseless? Well, with a waterless wash, this is essentially all you need. With a rinseless wash, you mix it out in a wash bucket and it's almost an alternative to shampoo. So you get everything you need to kind of wash the car with this. Now, no, it is more for light dust and dirt and maintenance than doing a full wash. Nothing will replace a full wash on your car and Soft 99 have shampoos and all that sort of stuff. But in the summer and in these drought conditions, I can go out there and my car, the Black Peril, is covered in dust. And if you use this product carefully and follow the instructions, it's a safe way to just get the car kind of 95% clean and all shiny in five minutes using very little tools and not having to use the hose. Now the key things to this, it says to use two to three sprays per section, but I like to wet out the section that I'm cleaning with liquid. Just allow that liquid to kind of penetrate into the car. Do not use it on hot panels, because what's gonna happen, 
the, the liquid is going to dry before you've got a chance to kind of spread it and buff it to a shine. You're going to get the residue marks. If that does happen and you use it in the sun, I'll talk about that in a second, you can always thin it back out with a little bit of misting when you do that final buff. Now, the key thing is after you've sprayed two or three squirts on your section you're going to clean, just wipe gently with a soft, I used a plush kind of uh, microfiber towel and just roll it over the surface and take off 95% of that dirt. And then I took a secondary cloth, which is also a plush soft cloth, and just gave it a final light buff to a shine. That's all I'm trying to achieve with this product. Now my car was half in the shade and cool and half in the sun. And yes, the panels in the sun are trickier to do because the product dries, so I didn't follow the instructions. But you can get away with using it if it, in the sunlight, as long as it's not roasting hot, okay? And when you do, just make sure you don't allow the product to dry. The best thing to do is get your car into the shade or do it early in the morning. So I find myself using these waterless and rinseless washes more and more. Why? Because I don't wanna wash my car two or three times a week, but I like it to look kind of shiny and dust free. And in the summer, when whichever car I leave outside does get covered in a layer of dust, um, so with the drought restrictions, this allows me to very quickly and rapidly just create shiny panels on my paintwork. I want to re-emphasize the key thing I think with waterless or rinseless wash products is your technique. What I'd like to avoid doing is buffing very hard on the paintwork. So when you're taking that initial layer of dust off, be very light-handed trust the product, get the product on there so you're actually getting all that encapsulation and lubrication, and then just tread carefully. Don't go in with loads of pressure, rubbing hard, and you'll be absolutely fine, except that it's like a maintenance clean that's gonna get you 95% of the way there, and this can be a very useful product. The main difference from other rinseless and waterless washes is the added protection there, so you're also gonna add hydrophobicity and top up whatever's on the car. And it's incredibly environmentally friendly because you're literally probably using 20 milliliters, or sorry, 200 milliliters of fluid to clean your car, including the water, rather than when you use a full pre-wash and bucket wash method. If you're using two buckets, you could be using 30 liters of water in the bucket alone, and then probably with the pre-wash, another 10 or 15 liters. So you're going from 50 liters down to 200 milliliters. So that makes it very environmentally friendly. Next up, product number three, speed and barrier. Now, where the hell are my eyebrows gone? Hold on a second, <laughs> I'm not having that. Okay, back, speed and barrier. Now, the misconception with this is that it's just a spray sealant. There is more going on to this than just a spray sealant. So you can wash, decontaminate, polish your car, degrease, use this as a standalone sealant, and it's gonna give you six months worth of protection, which is decent for a product you essentially spray onto a panel and wipe off. But I think more people use it differently. Now this is based on the existing fluoropolymer technology, which is used in F7 or the big daddy, the Mars bar, the 12 month Fuso coat, and that's the one I think you should go for. That's the beefiest kind of one in the, in the Soft 99 range. Now this product complements the Soft 99. You can use it when you're actually applying Fuso coat, because it's the same technology, to take out any sort of like smeary marks you might get with the wax. You can spray a little bit of this on and buff it, and it won't interfere with this curing on your paintwork, but Alternatively, if you've protected your car with the 12 months Fuso coat, in say four or five months time when the hydrophobicity is zinged down or whenever you want really, you can spray this onto your car and top up that hydrophobicity and it's gonna add that same kind of dirt repellency that the existing product gives you. And you notice if you've got fresh protection on your car, you get bird poo on it, it kind of breaks away a little bit easier than a car with no protection. It also makes it easier to drive. So it's like a Fuso coat boost, and that would be the way that I would probably look to use it. The instruction guys, the only things you need to know about is don't use it on a wet car because it's not really a drying aid. It's it's you know it has more performance than that. It's not really a quick detailer, it's a proper booster or standalone sealant in its own right. Wash the car, dry the car down, then apply 
apply this with a little bit more care out of sunlight, spray onto the panel, wipe it, and then admire your handiwork. So this is a quite an unsung hero in the Soft 99, the Fuso Speed and Barrier. And those eyebrows are looking good. And the fourth and final product in this range, and perhaps the most glamorous, it's the Raindrop Bazooka. Bazooka the Brooker. In fact, don't. Use it on your car. What is it, guys? Well, this is essentially a product that you use on the car wet, and it contains RAS, RAS technology. What is RAS? What does it stand for? I don't know. It's a TLA. What's a TLA, John? It's a three-letter acronym. I'm going to guess what RAS stands for. I'm going to go with rapid. I'm going to go with adhesion. I'm going to go with sealant. And if that's wrong, I apologise. But who cares? It sounds good. So it's got some clever technology in it. The cool thing is you can apply this to virtually any automotive surface. Paintwork, glass, plastic, chrome, headlights, even rims, aka alloys. It enhances the appearance that you spray it onto, so it's going to add gloss, but it also adds protection and helps make the car easier to clean and repel dirt going forward. It also sprays or atomizes the product over a long distance, so you can actually spray it back from the car and cover areas quicker with the aerosol design. So how do you use this, guys? Well, after you've washed your car, you rinse off all that soap suds and you have a clean, wet car and then you pounce with this stuff. Now panel by panel you can stand back and spray it on. You could do a cross motion on the bonnet for example or a little zigzag N. Work panel by panel and then spread the product and all the water over that panel. Then take a second microfiber, a nice soft fluffy towel and just buff it to a shine. It's that simple. Just work your way around the car and make sure you've done every single panel. Like I said, you don't have to worry about what you're spraying it on. It can go on glass, and it can go on plastic trims and all that. It will bond to it and it will add protection. One piece of advice that Soft 99 do provide with it, that in real cold weather, you can put this tin into a can of hot water, which will just increase the pressure and make sure you get that nice stream of atomization coming out. So you're getting that consistent user experience. And finally, one other thing with this product is it's also for use on cars with ceramic coatings. It can bond to that coating, add the hydrophobicity, increase the dirt repellency, give you the zing back. So would you use something like 12 month Fuso Coat on a ceramic coating? Not really, because Fuso Coat in its own right is like a durable baseline kind of sealant, not a maintenance product as such. And by putting it on top of a coating, you're really going to mask that coating's behaviour. Whereas something like this is actually designed and developed to go on top of that coating. It won't stay on there forever. You've got, I think they say about five automatic car washes if you're doing that. Shame on you, you should be washing by hand. Um, and then you'll have to reapply. So that sort of two to three month genre of maintenance product is what this is. And Spray and rinse products are really nice because you get the fresh hydrophobicity and when you've got the fresh hydrophobicity when you go and dry the car the water just sort of wants to come off the car instead of when there's no hydrophobicity you get that kind of streaking behind and you have to go back in and try and buff that out so it should make washing the car very easy and you can add protection at the same time and it looks cool. Finally guys, there's three last things I want to get across. One, a huge thank you to Soft99 Europe for sponsoring this video and providing me with these four products. The next thing is, there is life to Soft99 beyond just the iconic Fuso Coat and Glaco. They have lots of interesting protection products that have a different flavor. And this is the third point. You can explore lots of brands, um, but when you go outside the UK and you've got the German brands and you've got the American brands, you've got the Korean brands, the stuff that's coming out of Japan has a different flavour to all those. And you've got a lot of different bases covered with just these four products. Traditional detail spray, waterless wash, an aerosol based um, drying aid, spray when wet, and a Fuso Coat booster or standalone sealant. So there's a lot of different things to explore here depending on what your requirements are check out the Soft 99 store and also check out some of the other products as well. Have a, have a scan through because you might find things in there that are really interesting and unique that you haven't used before. I've had a hell of a lot of fun of making this. Finally, as always, do not forget to subscribe and all the products featured will be available 
in the description. This is the Forensics Detailing Channel. See you soon. Where was I when you